apologies because I'm probably about to get very loud, but oh my god! The Cartoon Network Redemption arc is real. I have no interest in the preschool shit. I'm a grown ass man now. But oh boy, the Warner Media Kids and Family Upfront came packed with news. Cartoon Network fans, we are about to get fed as we have the announcements of Infinity Train Book 4, The Amazing World of Gumball Movie, The Proper Return of Total Drama Island, and new Ben 10 specials featuring the return of Generator Rex. We're going to run through this press release and lose our collective minds together. Between this and the Nintendo Direct, good days do still exist after all. And of course, if you want to stay in the loop of all things animation, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. With all that said, let's dive into the goodness. So let's read this beautiful press release. Warner Media expands kids and family offerings on Cartoon Network and HBO Max under new tagline, Redraw Your World. Which Cartoon Network has had various slogans throughout the years, but how many do you remember besides television on rocket fuel? And that in itself is already a deep cut. So I think Redraw Your World, all right, I'll take it. That's a pretty good slogan for kids to grow up with. Warner Media kids and family unveiled today an expansive content commitment that aims to appeal to the complete spectrum of kids and family, including preschoolers, all ages 6 to 11, and family co-viewing, creating more than 300 hours of original series, specials, and acquisitions that will debut on its global Cartoon Network channels and HBO Max beginning later this year. These new originals add to over 3,000 hours of premium library content also coming to all of Warner Media's platforms. The characters, artists, and storytellers that make up Cartoon Network Studios and Warner Bros. Animation are some of the strongest in the industry, said Sam Register, president of Warner Brothers Animation and Cartoon Network Studios. While each studio continues in the footsteps of their own proud legacy, they unite with a shared passion to create programming that will draw in audiences of all ages and be the engine that drives Warner Media to the top of the kids and family space. New series green lights to reach all kids and family include Ben 10 Specials, produced by Man of Action. Three 44 minute specials based on the hit card arc series Ben 10 are set to premiere in April 2021. The first, Ben 10,010, takes place in the future when a disillusioned Ben 10,000 is called out of retirement to recruit his 10 year old version from the past to work together to save a future under siege. The second special, Ben Gen 10, follows Ben as he meets a young Generator Rex on the run from a hostile providence, working through a series of misunderstandings in order to save the world from being infected with alien DNA. In the final installment, Alien Extinction, the Tennysons are attacked by a villainous, dimension hopping Omni alien and soon meet a parallel universe version of Max who opens the door to hosting multiple Bens and Gwens, forming an alien alien hero army to combat this threat. Now, the first thing I'm going to get out of the way that this press release doesn't mention is that these specials are a part of the latest iteration of Ben 10, the 2016 reboot continuity. As before this press release, images were floating around of a disillusioned Ben 10,000. And I just assumed it was from an upcoming episode, which these specials probably are. I'm not too savvy with the latest Ben 10 reboot, but I do know it has been getting more story driven. It sounds like with the advent of HBO Max, executives could have sat down with the showrunners and go, you know, Adventure Time Distant Lands is doing pretty well. What if we take these remaining story arcs and just edit them into three separate specials? A good way to send off this iteration of Ben 10. Hell, the fact that they say final installment makes it sound like this is the end of the road for the Ben 10 reboot. But running for five years is nothing to sneeze at. Let's move along. Craig of the Creek. Created by Steven Universe writers Matt Burnett and Ben Levin, Season 4 of the Emmy, GLAAD, and NAACP Image Award nominated series is back and filled with new adventures as Craig and his friends embark on an exciting quest to find one of the creek's greatest treasures, meeting new friends and exploring new places along the way. Now, this doesn't really clarify if Season 4 is going to continue the ongoing story with the King of the Creek or if it's starting something new, considering that they're starting a brand new quest for adventure, and it sounds like that will be the focus of the overarching story. However, they could easily converge. Either way, I'm excited to get into more adventures at the creek. Gremlin Season 2 A Season 2 green light of this animated prequel of the beloved film franchise doubles down on the yet-to-be-aired series from Warner Brothers Animation and Steven Spielberg's Amblin Television. The first season's, Gremlins, The Secret of the Mogwai, is currently in production and features a star-studded voice cast, including Isaac Wong, Ming-Na Wen, B.D. Wong, James Hong, A.J. Locasquillo, Gabrielle Green, and Matthew Rice. Apologies if I butchered 
heard any name pronunciations. Now, I don't really have any judgment on this. I haven't seen the new Gremlins. As they said, it's not out yet. But between this and Animaniacs, I'm glad Spielberg is returning to animation. We need more variety. And even if that variety includes a reboot and adaptation, I'm still here for it. But now we move on to the main event. At least, the main event to me. Infinity Train Book 4. Yes, it's real. Two old friends must explore the inner puzzles of the Infinity Train and their relationship in order to return home together. Infinity Train Book 4 is created by Owen Dennis and produced by Cartoon Network Studios. Book 4 is here and we cannot let this go under the radar. I will go above and beyond with this platform to ensure that as many people as possible are able to know that Book 4 is coming and if they haven't started Infinity Train yet, they should be watching. Seriously, this show is a game changer for Western animation, especially that not just for kids audience. And if there's any hope of saving Infinity Train, we will ensure it comes to fruition. Now, for what this book could be about, I'm not really sure. The bigness has me hoping that it could be centered on Amelia, considering where her plotline left off in book three. But if not, I'm still excited for whatever story Owen Dennis and his incredibly talented team have cooked up. Jade Armor, in production of Team T.O. and featuring a talented all-female creative team, Jade Armor centers around the martial arts loving Lan Jun. Again, apologies if I butchered that pronunciation. An unlikely teenage heroine who must learn the secrets of her family and uncover the unexpected, all while navigating life as a teen. Hey, we finally have another female protagonist by Cartoon Network. Until Infinity Train, they really were few and far between. We had the Parbo Girls 2016 and then, uh, let's see. They didn't pick up Cadet in Charge. They didn't pick up Trick Moon. So yeah, this seems like a nice change of pace. And it sounds a little action-y with the martial arts. I'm intrigued and I can't wait to learn more about Jade Armor. Total Drama Island. Oh, you know people have been waiting for this one. No more drama-rama. The OG is back. The world's most hilarious reality show is back and better than ever with two new seasons. With no parents, no phones, and no mercy. The new animated series will introduce an upgraded cast of quirky, iconic teen contestants as they face hardcore competition, brutal eliminations, and more drama than ever before. Total Drama Island is produced by Fresh TV for Cartoon Network and HBO Max. And distributed internationally by cake look no shade to little drama rama but i was never gonna watch that shit you bring back my boy jude for this this is what the people wanted. Total Drama Island's fan base is still thriving. They're out here on any social media platform you can think of, especially TikTok. And none of those people are talking about Drama Rama. They wanted this. And it doesn't sit right with me that they shut down Total Drama Reunion, but now it makes sense as to why. Because they had a traditional season in the works. A new cast has me a bit curious, as we know the later seasons of Total Drama could be very hit or miss. And that was in part due to the new characters. But after seeing the alternative, a preschool setting with the same amount of crude humor, I'm taking this with open arms. Then we have the third season of Victor and Valentino. There's something sinister unfolding in Monte Macabre, and Victor and Valentino plan to sniff it out before it's too late. Along the way, the boys will return to the underworld for Dia de Mortos, hang out with the Reynas of Los Angeles for a Marachi musical, and mark Halloween with a herring two-part spooktacular special. The series is created by Diego Milano and produced by Cartoon Network Studios. This Halloween special you speak of, are we getting another villainous crossover because the last one ended on a cliffhanger? I'm glad to see Victor and Valentino still thriving, although I need to watch a bulk of the show, and I can't wait to see where the show goes with the more story-driven aspects. But shifting over to projects in development, again, development does not mean greenlit, it still needs to be greenlit, but as usual, if they announce it, I'm hoping they're pretty confident that it will be greenlit, and starting with the first one, oh my god! It took two years to get it announced, but it's finally fucking happening! It's finally fucking happening! The amazing world! World of Gumball Movie. Produced out of EMEA, the upcoming TV movie is based on the hit Cartoon Network series, The Amazing World of Gumball, which follows the hilarious misadventures of Gumball Watterson and his goldfish best friend, Darwin. <laughs> Two years of reruns and clips of specials. It's so worth it! It's so worth it! We're finally gonna get a concrete ending to Gumball which I think is gonna retroactively make it the longest running Cartoon Network show. I mean, I know there's Ninjago, 
but I never really watched it. To finally get a concrete ending to the Waterson saga, everything with the Void and Rob, I just can't wait. Expect more in-depth videos with Gumball and Infinity Train, but for now, let's just celebrate. It's finally here! Next up is Gross Girls. From Cartoon Network Studios, with producers Adam Scott and Naomi Scott, alongside creators Danielle Hamilton and Scott, I'm sorry, I don't want to butcher your last name at all, Gross Girls is a smart, sophisticated animated comedy about Chuck and Zoe, two best friends trying to survive middle school without losing any of their trademark stinky, hairy, mad sciency grossness. In spite of jerky brothers, judgy classmates, and common decency, these two girls boost each other up and encourage each other to be 100% themselves. Because with the right best friend, everything is an adventure. Even puberty. Now, I'm not really a big fan of gross out humor, but this does sound like it could be the animated equivalent of Pen15. A Hulu original with a similar premise, but nowhere near as cartoony. But still quirky and goofy. Look, if Cartoon Network can actually sell me on gross out humor, it's game over. As it stands, I'm just gonna wait and see. Sounds like it has potential. It sounds like the kind of show kids need. And the crew behind it already sounds pretty stacked. Can't wait to see it. Next up is Teen Titans Go! The Night Begins to Shine. Oh boy, I think I'm actually pretty excited for this one. In this spin-off series of the Cartoon Network smash hit Teen Titans Go!, Robin, Raven, Cyborg, Beast Boy, and Starfire journey back to the world of The Night Begins to Shine when the musical land falls victim to a new sinister threat. Together, the Titans must protect the only key to the world's salvation, a magical mixtape. The Night Begins to Shine is produced by Warner Brothers Animation. I think it's cosmically hilarious that the Teen Titans Go spinoff that we get stems from the one episode that everyone universally liked because of its art style, which then got a sequel episode, which then got a TV miniseries, and now it's getting a full-length series. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? I'ma be real with y'all. The main beef most people had with Teen Titans Go is the art style. But when the night begins to shine, it may be a redesign grounded in parody, but it still looks pretty badass. And that alone is going to get people to watch. And last but not least, we have Tweety Mysteries. Which sounds like Sylvester in Tweety Mysteries, but without Sylvester. And yeah, it sounds like Sylvester got swiped out for a brand new character in live action. Tweety Mysteries is a hybrid live action animated adventure from Warner Brothers Animation and Warner Brothers Television that follows a curious tween investigative journalist and podcaster named Sydney and her sidekick Tweety Bird. Working together, the pair must solve various local mysteries in their small, quirky Washington State town. Uh, I might check it out just because I'm always curious about 2D live-action hybrids. But right now, this just feels kind of unnecessary. And while I'm sure the human character will be likable, making her a tween podcaster just sounds a little extra. Hey guys, look, we're modern. Hey, parents at home podcasting. You like that, don't you? Now, there was also a slate for Cartoon Network's preschool blog. And although I'm just going to pretend like it doesn't exist, we are getting a Craig of the Creek spinoff starring Jesse. Jessica, titled Jessica's World. So I'm excited to see where that will go. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? Out of all of these announcements, which have you the most excited? The Gumball Movie? Infinity Train Book 4? Or the return of the traditional Total Drama Island? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RonTippleVids. And you can find me over at AustricVox on both Twitter and Instagram. Shout out to our patrons. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and we'll talk to you next time. Peace.